This video will examine the topic, Introduction to Simplifying a Product of Radical Expressions, Univariate. When working with these problems, including multiplying two or more radical expressions, it is important to know the following property. Notice that below the property, there is a condition. This condition states that a and b cannot be negative numbers because the square root of a negative number is not a real number. Also, a and b can include both numbers and variables. This video will focus on examples containing one variable. Let's do an example. What is the first step? This looks just like the property you explained, so I think the first step is to combine the two radicals into one. Your reasoning is spot on. When we combine the two radicals using the product property of radicals, we get the square root of 45 times x squared. Are we done yet? I think we can further simplify the expression. The square root of x squared is x because the radical and the exponent cancel each other out. Also, if we use the tree method to break down 45 into its prime factors, we can see that 3 appears twice. So we can pull out 3 of the square root, producing a final answer of 3x root 5. Great work! I like how you paid close attention to the expression beneath the radical to get it to its most simplified form. Let's do another example. Can you walk me through how to simplify the square root of 7 times the square root of 2x? Sure. First, we combine the two radicals into one expression using the product property. Then we simplify, but in this case, it is already in its most simplified form, so the final answer is the square root of 14 times x. Correct! Now you are prepared to tackle any problems involving simplifying a product of univariate radical expressions.